Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book haul uh, video. This one is for March. I'm also going to be doing my March wrap up, which is going to be super, super succinct. Um, it, it is, I read Your Life is Mine by Nathan Ripley. The review's already up on the channel. I read Lot by Brian Washington, um, which I'll have a review of very shortly. I also listened to Becoming by Michelle Obama. Um, and I will be putting a kind of review. Anytime I do nonfiction, I like to talk about personal experience more um, than the actual book. So that will be up sometime this week or next week. Uh, don't hold me to that. Um, there is another one that I have read um, that you'll be getting a review for, I think, on Monday. The Last by Hannah Jameson. So um, most of these books are on my book haul um my this book haul video also so we'll get to those in turn first and foremost a book that i was talking about last month i already did a review for which is uh i almost said fuck yourself unfuck yourself by gary john bishop um fantastic book uh even if you hate self-help books this is a great book there's a part in here uh, i'm gonna go ahead and read it because it's the part i was talking about last time so i'm going to read the exact part I was talking about. Uh, one day, you are going to die. You are going to stop breathing, become still, and cease to exist. You will exit this physical plane. Whether it's tomorrow or 20 years from now, it's going to happen. We are all mortal. There's no escaping it. You might find discomfort in these words or resist the notion of your demise, but if it's truth you're after, that's the one truth you just cannot argue with. You are going to die. For me, myself, personally, that shit gets me out of bed almost every single morning. Um, and sometimes I just fight my way through and I don't think about that. But ever since I've read this book, that's almost the exact same, that's almost the exact sentence that I think of when I wake up in the morning is, you are going to die. That might depress some of you, but for me it's a hell of a motivator because we're not promised tomorrow. Um, next, we have... A book that I grabbed at the library. They had one of those bag of books sales again for a dollar. Um, I only, I got, uh, let's see here. What all did I get? I didn't get too much. I got one, two, three. I only got three books, so it's more than a quarter a piece. Uh, yeah, anyways, so The Nest. Because it looked interesting? I don't know. Um, I had, I've seen this everywhere. It was on Goodreads, in my Goodreads free, feed for the longest time. It's by Cynthia Dieprix. Diapri? I don't know. Diapri? Sweeney? Um, and it's another family saga that's super short by comparison to what I consider a saga. It's only 340 some odd pages, 350 pages, and it's a saga? I don't know. We, we've had this discussion before, but uh, down there in the doobly-doo, let me know what you consider a saga. I even went and looked it up, and it was a long body of work. Um, and now they're calling these short 200 to 400 page books sagas uh, so I guess does it matter the course of time or do you think I want your opinion do you think it's the course of time that it spans in the novel or do you think it's more about the size of the book the length of the experience let me know all right uh, the next two three yeah the next three are gonna be uh, four sorry the next four are going to be advanced review copies that I got from Atria publishing so, Your Life is Mine, which I've already talked about on the channel. They sent me this one. Uh, they sent me American Magic by Zach Fest. Feist? Feist? I don't know, Zach. I'm sorry. <laughs> they sent me this one. Uh, I actually don't know if I'm interested in this one whatsoever. Uh, it seems like... It seems like a bit of urban fantasy, and I don't care too much for urban fantasy. Um... So I, I'll try it. I'm gonna. I try everything that I get a, a review copy of, but it's definitely not in my wheelhouse. Next one, one that I'm reading now is the Obsolete by Simeon Mills. I think is the name. Yeah, Simeon Mills. Uh, this is a book that has a metaphor for uh, they use robots instead of any other like non-American entity. It, it basically uh, the whole book's a metaphor for you know. Um, what is it? A xenophobia. So, uh, how they treat robots differently than, you know, actual human beings. It's not a new concept. Um, I am enjoying the book. 
Uh, I do like the writing more than anything else. I'm 50 pages into it. I'm enjoying myself. I don't know if it'll be a favorite read, but uh, so far I am enjoying it. Next up we have one that I read ages ago. I was sent a bound manuscript uh, from the PR person that works for, for Atria, David Brown. And uh, I read it. I didn't quite enjoy it as much at the time that I read it, but then it started, it's, as I thought about it more, the more it grew on me. So we'll talk about this more in detail, but the last by Hannah Jameson. Um, he sent me a hardcover because the bound manuscript that he sent me has a cover that they are not going to be using, um, and I don't want to show that off in this video. But this is a pretty pretty cool cover. Um, I will be showing in my spoiler the spoiler section of my review, which is always after the good the outro um, toward the end of the video. Um, I will show that bound manuscript. Um, I actually like the bound manuscript a lot more than I like this cover, but it is a pretty cover. I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's, it's really good. I just prefer the other one. So, that's all of my ARCs. And then, uh, to go along with the library stuff that I got, I got Nick Tosh's, Tosh's? Whatever. The Devil in Sonny Liston. I've never read a book about boxing, so I'm going to give this one a chance. The whole reason I got that. Um, next up, Cody, if, my friend Cody Tidwell, if you're watching this, man, this is because of you. Um, you told me if I'm tired of horror and, uh, thrillers and whatnot, pick up some Jody Picoult. Uh, so I picked up Small Great Things. Uh, basically I paid 33 cents for it because it was in a, a bag of books that I paid a dollar for, uh, out of the three books. So 33.3333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333